So we begin with a Japanese RPG about a boy and his mythological beast friend. Here's Blue Dragon. A storm is brewing. Those ominous purple clouds, that sense of foreboding. But what does it mean? Well, for you, it's the arrival of a Japanese RPG for the Xbox 360. For the villagers of Blue Dragon, it's just the signal of their decadal visit from the land shark that will destroy their town and kill their families. <laughs> lucky for them, some plucky kids are fighting back, and Shu, the leader of the group, won't give up. I won't give up! I won't give up! I won't give up! With the help of Jiro and Kluke, they defeat the land shark and find that it is not a fictional animal, but rather a strange flying machine. One thing leads to another, and they end up on the craft, transported back to the flagship. They also come face to face with temptation as a mysterious voice urges them to swallow some magical glowing orbs. It hurts! Oh, I don't think this was such a good idea! The kids succumb, and predictably, their shadows transform into great blue magical creatures. Aided by their shadow creatures, the group sets off to find their way home and defeat Nene, the purple villain responsible for all the death and destruction. What did you hear your screams? Along the way, they also meet Zola, who joins them on their quest, and if possible, pirates just got a little sexier. Above all, the game is pretty and the voice acting is good, but it follows the rule that the smaller the character is, the more annoying their voice must be. For whatever reason, Shu's voice does not make you want to punch anyone. It's because I said I won't give up! Sure, but when Marumaro opens his cute little mouth, you just want to shake him. No! And coming in at the smallest is the rage-inspiring Deathroy. The gameplay is solid. There's plenty to explore and the fighting system is good. The downside is that Blue Dragon is not terribly unique. You'll encounter the same problems here as you do in most games of the genre. It's not bad, but it's also not very original. But it should score some originality points for having your characters dig through poo to find gold. Gold. In that respect, Blue Dragon is a trailblazer. All in all, it's a fun time. You'll enjoy battling tigers and dinosaurs and poo snakes. Wait, poo snakes? What is it with this game? But they just don't know when to give up, do they? They sure don't. It's an entertaining epic, but it just doesn't live up to the hype. Blue Dragon defeats three poo snakes out of five.